Hey folks, so at the end of uh, 2016, it was my intention to do a top 10, so that's what this video is. So basically, we're going to break it up into two sections. We're going to have a top 5 videos, and it's going to be judged on popularity, but we're not going to judge it on views. We're going to judge it on how many people wanted to grab the MIDI file for the song. Okay, so that's going to be our first top 5. So which, which do you think would be my number 1 song that people wanted? So we're going to go down, we're going to do a countdown for that. And then... For the second set of songs, we're going to do the, um, the top five most influential songs uh, for my channel. Alright, so stay tuned and watch the countdown. So coming in at number five, we have Amazing Grace, uh, Corey Henry. Okay, so this one, um, yeah, this one, this one was this one was given to me as a request um, by one of my subscribers at the time and. I, I went ahead and tackled it, but here's the thing about this one. This one uh, has been my uh, the longest song to date that I've done. It took me over 15 hours to create this song. Um, I believe that <laughs> if you see how long this song is, incredibly long. And this was before. This is when I was still taking requests. <laughs> so I had to stop that because I, I had literally took me about four days nonstop to do this song. Uh, four days, 15 hours, and um, I mean, if you can see here, I mean, the song is still going. Look at this. Look at this. But because I was a beginner, at least in transcribing, um, you know, this was a lesson for me. You know, you, you want to work your way up <laughs> to something like this. So, you know, you always want to do something that is, you know, <laughs> that is doable for you, and then you work your way up. But this song had some cool parts in it. Um, some difficult parts here. The uh, in 4:11, we had a part here that he played. That part. You can look, see that. I'll play it again. That part, believe it or not, and, it's, and it, it seems so quick, but that part took me so long. I had to keep trying, keep trying to get the the execution right, so that um, because it, it, it's it's done without breaking the rhythm. Um, oh man. Yeah, just going back to that brings back memories, and I almost cried on that one. <laughs> and then we have 617. Um, we have a movement that he does there. Right, and that that's a nice movement. And so for those of you who haven't seen this song yet... I actually, that's the only thing that I break down in the entire song. Look at, I was still doing these cheesy little <laughs> graphics, but um, that's the only thing that I did. He's, he has to end on the, on a C minor So chord. all those chords are there on that last one and there the that we have on 617, those are broken down for you. So if you want to see that, you're going to check out that video, Corey Henry, Amazing Grace. Uh, let's see how many people downloaded this one for the MIDI file. Okay, looks like we have 19 people that downloaded this song, okay? And let's look at our next one, number four. Oh yeah, Glenn Gibson shout. Okay, so okay, check it. So the story behind this one is they um this is the one that we used to launch the Facebook page. And um I knew I wanted to start a Facebook page and the Facebook page has not been uh it's not been out that long, but if you look at it, I had nothing. I had nothing. And I said, "You know what? If I'm going to start a Facebook page, I need to start off with a video that's going that's going to um really catch people's attention." So if you go look and see all these videos on my Facebook page here, you can see the very first one. <laughs> and I and I and I launched it with that video. 
9,000 views, almost 10,000 views. All my other videos didn't get that many, but I knew it because that video took so long to do. And I knew that shout videos, um, you know, people want, people always want shout videos. Okay, and so this one, this one was a, tip, a difficult one to transcribe rhythmically. Rhythmically was the problem here. It wasn't so much the chords, it was the rhythm. But um, there's a part here that was incredibly different. Let me see if I can see it. If you haven't seen this one yet, go check it. This part here. I could not figure out what he was doing with that left hand. I was really, really trying to figure that out. And it took me, I mean, I kept listening to it over and over, trying to figure it out. And that's a very, he's got some kind of rhythmic structure there that he's been, obviously he's been perfecting for a while, but it's, it's, um, it's hard to pick up, especially going that fast. Let's try it again. Because because I noticed that in the right hand it's going so all the movement is ha is happening in the left hand there, and so I was trying to capture that. And of course, when I'm playing it, I have to play it with the same hand, you know. So I'm having to figure that out in my left hand. Um, really difficult part there. So go check that part out. Um, let's see how many people. Oh, by the way, this this one took me seven hours uh, to create. And I think that's the main trouble spot of that song. If you want to learn shout songs, this one this one is the, I mean, it's probably the best one I've seen in a long time. Uh, let's see how many people download. 68 people uh, download a MIDI file for this. I know Facebook helped with that. All right, let's look at number three. Okay, Mike Burrell's Preacher Chords. Okay, if you haven't seen this video yet, you need to go check this out, like, right now. Just stop what you're doing <laughs> and go go put in Preacher Chords MIDI in YouTube. Because these, <laughs> this one, yeah, top three definitely from all the downloads that I have. Um, I think at, at, at this point, I think we have 83 people that had downloaded this one who wanted to learn these preacher chords the other thing that this video showed was um some websites and some other resources that if you're trying to find preacher chords you can go look at them so um yeah this was a good video for that so definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it yet mike burrell on oregon and it's absolutely ridiculous All right, number two. Oh yeah, you know it. If you haven't seen this song, you need to go check it out right now. It was only a matter of time. I, I knew when I started doing this that it was only a matter of time before I did this one. It took me about four hours um, to create. You can see the media files on the right. My most viewed video on YouTube by far. I believe eight. Uh, I, no, I believe 86 people um, have tried to get this song, yeah, according to my records. And the teaching on this video, um, a lot of people um, really enjoy the teaching as well. And the teaching on the video, if you haven't seen it yet, we basically go through every chord type that Corey uses. Well, no, how he uses all the four major chord types. Uh, I think it's pretty eye-opening. Most people have told me it's pretty eye-opening. So uh, go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. All you have to do is type in... Um, if you type in... I'm pretty sure that if you type in Corey Henry... Meaty is probably the first one, most likely. 
Yeah, see, the very first one, if you type in Corey Henry Meade, he's the very first one you're going to get to. All right, so um, definitely um, go check that out if you have not seen it yet. Uh, if you haven't left a comment on there, um, you know, go ahead and do that. We already have over 100 comments, but hey, I read them all. Okay, number one. Riff of the Week. That's right, folks. Riff of the Week is number one, and let me tell you why. First of all, it's hard to find, so if you go to YouTube and you type in Riff of the Week, I'm nowhere there. Okay, I'm not even, I'm not even close to being anywhere. I mean, you can start searching pages, you won't even see me. Okay, if you type in my name, Sean Wilson, Piano, you're not going to see no Riff of the Week either. So they're hidden, and a lot of people have missed it. Oh, there they go, right there. You find it there, but the, 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 the you don't find it if you put in Riff of the Week. Um, sometimes what you may have to do is put in Sean Wilson Piano, because you some of you have missed some some gold nuggets here. Okay, You go to Playlist. And then when you see the playlist, you simply go to Riff of the Week here, and you're going to see some of the top musicians free, for free. All free MIDI files here. Okay? Starting and ending with Corey Henry. You've got Eddie Brown on there. Terrence Ruffin, who plays for, uh, who played for Marvin Sapp. And then you got uh, DJ. You got Jason White. You got Kevin Powell. Um, and, and I'm... I'm I'm putting these as one file because basically when you download the link, you get all you get all of the files in there. Let's uh, let's look at some of these. Okay. Some of y'all didn't know these were here. Some of you missed them because they don't have high views because the people's pictures aren't there. So you don't know. You may not have realized that these have come out, but I was doing these on a Tuesday. I wasn't even doing them on a Thursday, so. Some of you may have missed them. And even with me not promoting these, 217 downloads. 217 is my number one uh, highest. Okay, and these are all them. These are Eddie Brown. These are all free. Did I mention that these are free MIDI files? Quality here. Some of the top musicians here. Check this one out. No teaching. These are all just straight playing. Terrence Ruffin here. Check out this riff. Get all that for free. You don't gotta pay for that. It's that's all free. Look, check this one out. Oh, check out that intro. Check out Jason White, Total Praise. Mike Reel's just enjoying it. And then we have uh, Kevin Powell on Hiding Place. And he's playing an organ on this one. Are you hearing some of these chords? And it's called 
Riff of the week. Seven days in the week. That's why I stopped at seven. Corey Henry, impromptu solo here. Now check this out, when you go to get this MIDI file, it tells you, if you click that, check this out, you can name your own price and you get all seven of these MIDI files, all seven of them, okay, 207 people, 217 people have done that, so go in there, uh, grab what you want, and you get the whole thing. And, uh, and thanks for uh, doing these top five, but this is the number one rip of the week. Thank you again. Now let's move to our next section. Fabulous. Would you give it up for the greatest organist in the world today, Cora Henry from New York. Come on, my little brother. Come on. Two-time Grammy Award winner. Come on, give it up to him. That's my little brother. Okay, so these next videos, I don't judge them based on downloads or popularity, but I judge them on their impact how it affected the viewers, how it affects you um, in terms of teaching. And obviously there's there's no real way, this is subjective because there's no real way for me to know. And, and one thing that will help me out so much because I don't know, views don't tell me anything. YouTube can tell me, oh, this many people viewed it. This is popular, but I don't know if it works. I don't know how well it works unless you're telling me that, you know, how much and that this video helped and... That helps me a lot because then I kind of repeat those things um, that I know that you're asking for. So I'm, I'm really judging based on comments, based on the feedback that I've gotten, what I think. Um, so if, you are, if you're wondering, and you, especially if you're new to the channel, but even if you're old, to kind of remind us of some of those things that, we, um, that I've done from the beginning. And coming in at number five, and let's, let's do this. I'm going to take you to my channel here. And we're going to go to videos. This is anybody can see this by going to YouTube. This is all everybody can see this. Okay. Now, here's all of them from the beginning here. Okay. And coming in at number five would be Corey Henry's I Will Bless the Lord. This was, a, this was definitely a game changer. In terms of teaching um, and the reason why is because we have more people interested in the teaching part of this than they were in the in the media file and it blew my mind because I was I felt like I was just talking like I didn't you know I didn't start YouTube to, to teach so I was just talking and more people were interested in my explanation of it if you haven't seen this video uh, go ahead and take a look at it. You know, I was I was still right around the ears in terms of what I was trying to present and everything. But um, there were some things in here that, um, you know, people are still telling me about. Um, so we go through this song for you, especially there's some uh, chords that he does at the end. Off. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, this part here. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, those part. That part right there, we explain that in this video. Um, and we kind of we kind of even go a little bit into some of the theory behind those um, that that movement there. So if you like this song, go ahead and check it out. But as far as me, Val, but really more for the teaching. Um, I think you should check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have, it's always good to go ahead and review that. Okay. Um, number four um, is, uh, man, this one. This one, this one was so interesting. Now, in this song, what we have, if you haven't seen this yet, um, 
Yeah, what a friend we have in Jesus. Okay, so three musicians are playing this song. And this song, the teaching of this song was interesting because what, what we did with this song is we took each of these musicians and how they played it and we examined the melodic line from the song and discussed what the melodic line is from an ear standpoint. Absolutely incredible. Um, let me see here. So you can just do... So basically... And look at this. Look at the... So so we, we, we examine how each person does the same thing melodically but then also we just we, we discuss how they chord it as well but then towards the end of the video sean goes crazy right because we discussed we discussed um a melodic line we discussed chords i gave my own melodic line and i gave some some chords but then we discussed a way that you can harmonize it's greater than all of these and we discussed that and um in, in terms of teaching this one was powerful even for me <laughs> because when i when i watched it again after i did the video i start it actually started um teaching myself <laughs> it was if that makes any sense um so i actually was benefited from my own video weird i know but um so i i wanted to put it up there as number four uh, for the third, uh, for the third one, I'm kind of torn, but I'm gonna go with the um, I'm gonna go with the media files. This one was was this one was huge in its impact. Very very important video, because in this video I show you how to use media files. But not only do I show of you how to use them. I show you my entire process of creating. So anybody who asks me a question on, well, how do you do this? What do MIDI files do? How do I play the MIDI files? What happens if I can't see the whatever? I have frequently asked questions. This honestly, I'll probably take this video and change it to a blog post because it just has so much in it. I literally, I literally transcribe this in front of you um, and show you the process on the screen I, I show you, I show you um, me putting the song in Gum Road. Then I show me downloading the song um, to play the song on the screen. I mean, I take you through everything. So anybody who has any question about a MIDI file and how to benefit from it, oh yeah, that's right. Because even towards the end, I teach you even how to benefit from the MIDI file. <laughs> so I, I create it in front of you. I process and edit it. I download it, I play it on my screen, and then I tell you how to gain from it. So, um, but it's an hour long video. Um, so some of you may not have known that. And then towards the end, I go through some troubleshooting problems that you may have with the media file. So definitely this, uh, I think this video in terms of the impact, cause I still to this day send people here to this link um, for a lot of these questions that they have dealing with media files. So. Definitely, if you have not seen this video, this is one that can help you a lot for any questions that you may have about how I do things and um, anything like that or how to access or use the media file. Um, you need to go see this video. <sighs> number two. Now, <laughs> my, my second one, my number two video was a mistake. This is, and I know this is crazy. But I'm gonna have to put this one as number two, the the perfect versus relative versus tonal. Res listen to listen to this now. I <laughs> this video was a mistake, and I was sh it totally shocked me and surprised me. And this is one of the reasons why I am encouraged to keep doing this um, because uh, I think I have some of the best subscribers. Definitely, I didn't have time. My work schedule was a, it was a rough week, and I did not have time to do. A media file that week and I and so I said to myself well since I don't have time to transcribe and teach let me just make it a straight teaching video now that was a risk for me because I've always kind of relied on on people wanting to see the media files and not really going to I didn't think anyone was going to be interested in just straight teaching because that actually kind of helped me to know that um, people are looking for instruction as well they don't just want media files but some people are actually looking for some uh, teaching and how to do things. All right, <laughs> number one. 
Now you're gonna say what then is number one? What's the most what video has impacted you the most? You know, before I put the number one out here, one thing that helps me, you know, what video has helped you? I have a lot of people that tell me, well, you know, your channels really helped me out. But that is so generic. I, I need to know the video. <laughs> What video helped you? You know what I mean? Now, someone may say, well, you know, I like I get some from all of them. Yeah, but is there one that you really remember? Please drop it in the comment now because I need to kind of know because it, it's that's how I plan. I, I plan from the feedback. So that's the reason I'm always asking for comments because I need to, in order to be a better uh, instructor and to be better at what I do, I have to, I have to know what people are thinking. So I, I don't want to just guess it. I want to be able to kind of actually get that feedback. So if something really helps, you know, you gotta let me know. And, um, so basically here's the one I think now it's not going to be this one. <laughs> A lot of people like the Corey Henry one. Um, they, they like that one, but in terms of the evidence, I'm going to go all the way back and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to shock you with the one I'm about to tell you. It's actually this one in terms of the impact. And let me tell you why. This was a part of the first series that I had done when I first started my channel. I was just getting a getting my hand in this thing trying to figure out what should I do should I put the put up put the video in the middle or the side I mean I, I didn't know you know I didn't really have a way of doing things consistently and so at the point of this video I hadn't done any teaching yet I hadn't done anything and so I said to myself you know what let me and so each video I tried something there this was an experiment a big old experiment each video in the free series okay so I'll be honest with you. This wasn't just me giving a free series of videos. That's what it looked like that I was just giving free MIDI files. But in actuality, what it was, those of you who were around for the Beast Chronicles, um, what it was, let me go to the playlist. Even though I was giving, even though each of these, these are free, just like the Riff of the Week, these are also all free. But I was in my experimental stage at this point. I didn't know what worked. I didn't know, you know, what to do. So I was using each of these free videos to experiment with um, my audience to try to see what works. And it was on Eddie's video that I did my first explanation. I said, I don't, maybe, I said, let me try explaining things. A dominant, C dominant, seven. And the so this, <laughs> this is my very first teaching video. Um, on YouTube and one thing that I did what I noticed was when I compared uh, I can't you can't see it here but when I compared the traffic this one had two or three times as much as my other videos and I was trying to find out why at first I couldn't I couldn't figure it out I'm like why does this Eddie Brown one have more videos than the others and it wasn't the quality of the media file was the same the other musicians were beasting just as hard as he was so i couldn't figure it out and then when i finally figured it out it was because i was teaching uh and i realized that that's what people were looking for and that maybe i should integrate teaching more with with um what i'm doing so it was it was totally by accident but it was uh and then from there I said, well, I guess I guess people want more than just media files, <laughs> so I, I I did it that way. So I, I'm grateful for the feedback, like I said, and that that helps me to be better at what I do. I'm grateful for you as subscribers who are who are here uh, giving me that feedback and who are going and making sure that you are because I'm interested in results. I'm not just interested in watching videos. You know, when I teach, I assume that people have a piano in front of them. And they're, you know, trying it out. Or if not, you know, that they're going to do that. So um, it's, it is very helpful uh, when you tell me, and I'm hearing all the time about people telling me that they're utilizing some of the stuff in their own playing and things like that. That helps me a lot. So I want to thank you again. Thank you for watching. These are the top five. If you need to go check them out, go check them out. Um, and um, we will see you again next week. I should be back on my regular schedule. Okay, thanks again. And see you later. Yeah. Mm.
You know it. <laughs> you know it, Doc. <laughs> Da, da, da. He's going to do that C. 